Today we are very fortunate to have Xiaotia. She once told me that for those who cannot pronounce her name, she has another name. What's that? Okay. Small house, yeah. So I met Xiaotia in Bangkok. I think it was the first Asia Link outing. It's a regional uh, gathering of all those from Asia. And she has been in Singapore for how many days? I will be here for four days. Where have you been in Singapore? What have you sketched? Can you show us? The, the first sketch was this, in Arab Street. Me, Tony, Bampang and Dorothy, we are sitting right at the corner of Haji Lane. Okay. Uh, then, then we overlook to, to one of the shop houses opposite, so this is, this is my yeah. sketch. I just want to add that I really love her penmanship, her calligraphy. <laughs> uh, were you trained in that area or did you just happen to dive no, in it because I... of... I, I learn it by myself because I think that you know uh, writing complements with sketching as well. I'm a little bit like a um, graphic person, you know. I would like to show people that you know the place, the 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 name of it, the topic of it, what's the main topic of it, yeah. Good. Good. Yeah, that's why I learn I pick up calligraphy, yeah. Okay. As we walk down the Kandar street, so we find was, we was looking for food anyways, so um, we find this uh, box and sticks. It's a Japanese casual restaurant. How long does it take for you to do um, a piece like that? Uh, roughly about uh, 30 minutes, like just the outline. Uh, it's small, even faster, uh, depends on the subject, you know, the, how complicated it is, the environment, you know. But normally, you know, I would try to train myself fast. Because urban sketching is on the go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So far, wh where's your favorite spot to sketch in Singapore? I think Chinatown has a lot of things. Yeah. So yesterday I met a friend that I just met in Instagram. She, she loves art, and she's a teacher. And then they they don't have uh, like exposure to art. From experience, what they tell me is they normally they take a photo. They take a photo first, then they go back and draw. So with all this traveling, um, like all the countries that she's been, everything she take photo and draw. Okay. So I, t I told her that maybe you might want to try, you know, on location stuff. It makes it more lively yeah. rather than, you know, you, you refer from a photo. It's, it's very um, hard. It's very, uh, to me, it, you know, you, you don't have the feel. Uh, uh, yeah, you don't have the feel to to really experience the environment, yeah, stuff yeah, like that, like yeah. shadow, lighting, yeah, yeah, yeah. like that. Um, also for me, sound is really important. Uh, when I hear a baby crying, uh, car honking, things like that, it all goes into the sketch yeah. somehow, yeah. yeah. How did you start urban sketching or why did you start urban sketching? Yeah. How did I start? Wait, let me think. I started like urban sketching three years ago. I graduated in interior architecture. So normally, you know, the sketches that we do, we only use our imagination. So we pan down you know, our ideas, we show to lecturers, you know. We, when then I was in KL, I was searching for the group like that, but they, that, like that time, they do not have such a group yet. So I was like, um, because I'm from Kuching, so of course Kuching there is, so we joined the Kuching one. Yeah, that's, that's how I know urban sketching okay. because my, my friends are part of the group. Since I started urban sketching, um, I met a lot, a lot of people. Okay. Like, like friends from different countries. The friendship mm. is, is, is just amazing that, you know, how, how can you meet a stranger, you know, just like that and become friends, you know, that, that kind of thing. So in, in urban sketching, the, the culture, the contacts, you know, um, the people that we meet here, yeah, that they are all random. But one thing that we have in common is we share the same passion. Yeah, in, in, in sketching, and then we, we learn from each other. We do not compare. We do not judge. Like art, there is no right or wrong. How, how you draw it is for you to record the memory, for you to record as your own. It helped me develop a habit that when I go to each country, I have um, a sketchbook with me. So I will tend to like one country, one sketchbook. So if even if I cannot finish that sketchbook, right? So probably there will still next time. So it's also like a tool for me to measure myself. Five years later, oh wow, you, you are taking back the same book and draw again. 
So yeah, it makes a uh, um, the, the the difference, you know, to to see how much have you achieved and how much that you improved. So she also makes sketchbooks. Yeah. And um, these are her products. Yeah. Okay. What word of advice would you give to budding artists, new new urban sketchers? I would advise that you know don't don't be shy to come out and you know join and meet all these new awesome people. I met a lot of friends that you know they don't want to go out, come urban sketching is because uh, first thing is environment is too big, scene is too big. Do not be overwhelmed by that. So just be yourself. You can start small. Uh, small like small scene trees for example you can just practice your trees you know practice um, human people movement after that um, slowly you move into perspective you learn your perspective after that you move to buildings you move to you know um, then you piece all that together then it becomes a scene right of course we also need to you know humble ourselves you know ask for people's um, advice um, or sharing you know be able to accept um, the teaching, you know, most importantly is um, commitment to it. Like if you commit into this, you know, you, you, you say that you want to come every weekend to draw, so, so um, that, that is the commitment that you have to make, like to, to be better, right? You have to put some effort in it. Yeah, that's what my advice wow, is. Wow, thank you. Uh, that's, that's a lot to digest, <laughs> but yeah, um, just starting out on one small little thing and just expanding from there, that's, yeah, that's a good that's right. start, that's definitely. A, that's an idea. Yeah. Thank you so much for being with us, you'll be seeing a lot more of Jia in my uh, trips around Southeast Asia, so until next time you see her, Hi. ciao! ciao. <laughs> yeah, it's bought. Okay. I like it. Um, oh, you like it? And it was by Fluke that I found this pen. Okay. Uh, I used to use a Hero 578 uh -huh. and then it was out of stock for a long time and the guy at the store said, why don't you try this? You bought it here? Yeah, at Straits. Ah, okay. Yeah, and it's on the video right here. <laughs>